Hi, this is Daniel, Roof Life of Oregon. I'm gonna show you something that we're not big fans of, and that's when the builder puts your dryer vent from your laundry on your roof. We really like those going out the wall. Much easier to deal with. The lint goes off, a little bit on the front of it that you'll need to clean off. But when it goes onto the roof, your dryer's trying to push the air and all that lint up. Really bad problem with clogging. You can see what it does to the roof. So now I dug all this. I just pulled all of this out of this vent. There's a flapper in here. These are really designed for bathrooms and kitchen fans where it's not pushing lint out, just warm, moist air. So there's a flapper in here that's actually not working anymore. It's kind of stuck because of all the lint that's stuck inside there. And so we really recommend not doing that. If you can have a plumber change that and go out the wall, that'd be much better. If you do have one on the roof and there's nothing you can do about it, have the roof checked out constantly. I would say at least once every two to three years and then have a duct work cleaning company check this thing on a regular basis so when you have your furnaces serviced have them look at this because this is going to be a problem as that air gets inside and all that lint gets stuck inside this thing. 